Gas Gas SM700, a deep dive into the engineering marvels of this high-performance machine. Images of Pedro Acosta sliding, cutting, and wheeling the Gas Gas SM700 inspire riders of all skill levels. The ability to slide into a corner, turn the bike, and wheelie out in a seamless motion showcases a level of control and explosiveness that few can achieve. When I learned my next assignment was the Gas Gas SM700, the red counterpart to the KTM 690 SMCR, I thought, here's my chance, not to rival Pedro's extraordinary talent, but to experience the unique sensation that only a supermoto can provide. Gas Gas, acquired by KTM, is positioned as Pure Mobility's most accessible brand. These red bikes share their core components with KTM and Husqvarna models, but use lower quality parts, such as cast triple clamps, Bractec brakes, and lack a map switch. However, the 2023 Gas Gas SM700 stands out. It shares nearly every part with the KTM 690 SMCR, except for wheels and plastics, making the choice between them one of color and brand identity. The 692.7 cubic centimeters LC4 single cylinder engine has been a cornerstone of the Austrian manufacturer's middleweight platform. First introduced in the KTM 690 Enduro R, this powerful engine has benefited from years of development in the Enduro R, 690 SMCR, Husqvarna 701 Enduro, and 701 Supermoto. While we've experienced this engine and platform before, this is our first time with it in this bold red iteration. The bike. Powering this dynamic machine is the 692.7 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled SOHC single-cylinder engine. A 50 mm throttle body feeds an impressive 105 mm x 80 mm bore and stroke, while dual spark plugs ensure consistent power delivery. Gas Gas has equipped the engine with dual counterbalance shafts and a rubber-mounted bar clamp to minimize vibrations. Its six-speed transmission features a bi-directional quickshifter with an auto-blip function and an Adler Power Assist slash slipper clutch, ensuring smooth and efficient gear changes. Gas Gas SM700 Technical Breakdown and Riding Impressions Supporting the engine is a stunning cherry red chromoly steel trellis frame, complemented by a self-supporting polyamide subframe that houses the 3.6-gallon fuel tank. The suspension is managed by a 48mm WP Apex fork with separate functions for compression and rebound adjustment, providing 8.5 inches of travel. At the rear, a WP Apex shock with high and low-speed compression, rebound, and preload adjustment offers 9.4 inches of travel. The bike rides on 17-inch aluminum wheels fitted with Continental Connie Attack SM EVO tires. Braking is handled by a four-piston CNC machined Brembo caliper with a 320mm rotor at the front and a single-piston Brembo caliper with a 240mm disc at the rear. Electronic aids include a map switch with two ride modes, Mode 1, Street, and Mode 2, Supermoto, Switchable Traction Control, and Switchable ABS. Mode 1 offers a crisp throttle response with cornering sensitive traction control while Mode 2 provides a smoother throttle response with Supermoto traction control, allowing for wheelies and drifts. The TC button on the map switch allows for deactivation of traction control in either mode, and an illuminated button near the information display can disable ABS on both wheels. An optional dongle is available for purchase to deactivate rear wheel ABS while maintaining ABS at the front wheel. Riding Impressions On the Cycle World Dyno, the Gas Gas SM700 produced 66.4 horsepower at 7,570 RPM and 48.9 pound FT of torque at 6,590 RPM, while peak power and torque are high in the rev range. The engine truly comes alive in the mid-range. The explosive power at the rear wheel propels the rider back, with the grippy Continental Connie Attack tires providing exceptional drive that makes high speeds feel effortless. A quick glance at the Gas Gas SM 700S dyno chart proves the engine does its best work after 5,000 RPM. The combination of a relatively unresponsive bottom end and a short rev range of 9,000 RPM reduces engine flexibility. During spirited riding on twisty back roads, riders only have a 4,000 RPM window to work with. Pulling hard off an apex, the engine roars through the mid-range and into the top end but quickly hits the rev limiter. 
getting the most out of the 700 requires running into the limiter before grabbing the next shift. The LC4 is an exhilarating engine, but if peak power was shifted closer to the mid-range, riders would have an easier time connecting corners. On surface streets, the Gas Gas SM700 can behave like a tame dual sport. Adjusting the rider aids and short shifting will keep the supermoto well-mannered. If you can resist the temptation of being an absolute hooligan, the 2023 Gas Gas SM700 is a decent in-town commuter. Long haul, not so much. Vibrations are noticeable through the foot pegs and handlebar, wind protection is absent, and the suspension and chassis are stiff and sporty rather than soft and comfortable. But when it's time to pop a wheelie, slide a corner, or do a stop by, all that other stuff is quickly forgotten. Fully adjustable WP Apex suspension provides plenty of holdup during spirited riding. Clicker adjustments are easily noticeable. Initially softening the front end to increase comfort during commuting miles causes excessive fork dive under hard braking and quick transitions through corners. Finding a fork setting that performed well during spirited riding was easy and toolless thanks to the clicker dials. Adjusting the shock requires tools to do so. Once finding a comfortable shock setting, I left the rear alone. But no matter how much fiddling was done with the fork, the SM was still missing a little confidence and comfort. Road imperfections and rider inputs continued to upset the chassis and make the bike feel twitchy. Handling is extremely light, agile, and direct on the Gas Gas SM700. Its wide moto handlebar provides plenty of leverage to muscle the bike from one side of the tire to the other. But at times, the light steering makes the gas gas nervous. The extremely direct throttle response is hard to modulate mid-corner and unsettles the bike. The Gas Gas SM700 tends to stand up when applying throttle mid-corner. Between the stiff chassis, light handling, and aggressive throttle response, the 2023 Gas Gas SM700 feels very reactive to rider inputs. Riding smoothly can elevate some of these sensations, but during spirited riding it just feels like the bike is on edge. Also, the seat is slippery which causes the rider's contact patch to slide backward when exiting a corner on the gas. Shedding speed is light work for the Gas Gas SM 700S brake system. The large 320mm disc, Brembo caliper, and master cylinder provide strong and progressive stopping power. A sharper initial bite would be nice. But once the rider progresses into the lever stroke the bike stops quickly. The rear brake system is plenty strong. Cutting skids is easily achievable. And for those who like to back it in, the slipper slash assist clutch helps find the balance between a full lockup and appealing hack. Everything seems to be easier on a supermoto, right? Bigger wheelies, larger lean angles, and longer slides. It is really a big dirt bike with 17ths and street tires, we should be able to muscle it into position. Well, that's not exactly the case. Except for Pedro Acosta. The Gas Gas Supermoto is sharp, raw, and focused. It's easy to ride moderately, but it's wicked power for a single. Razor-sharp handling and extreme responsiveness requires a lot of skill to control at the limit. If you are anything like me and expect to swing a leg over the Gas Gas SM 700 and instantly create, Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.